Hey, what's up, everybody? Glad you're here. If you're here to learn how to pull down Clearbit data uh, into Customer IO, you're in the right spot. So we are using webhooks out of a campaign canvas. And when you create, uh, when you create one of those, you'll get this screen right here, and I'll walk through the steps it takes. So um, the first thing you'll do, since you're pulling data down, you're going to do a GET request. And this is the URL that you're going to use. And um, the customer.email here pulls the email address dynamically from the uh, person that triggered the step. You need a couple of headers. So this content type and the value of application slash JSON, and then another header of authorization where the bearer, uh, the value is bearer space, and then your API key. So to get your API key from Clearbit, you log into Clearbit, clip API here on the left-hand side, and then you've got this string of characters here at the top one, the secret API key. You will uh, copy that key, and then come back into customer IO, paste it here with a space after bearer, and you'll be set. You'll, you can see over here that in this test user, uh, it appends that email address at the end, so that's what it's gonna look up in Clearbit. And you've got your headers. Okay, so at this point, then you're ready to test. So you'd hit send test, and it'll, depending on the email address that you're searching for, as an example here, that's the one that's gonna make the call for. Uh, and this is a sample of the testing results. So I'm looking at company domain, company data here, but it, you'll have person and company domain, company data, my goodness. Person and company data that gets returned to you in here, and there's like, you know, there's a ton of different values. Um, and this is where it could get a little tedious. So, um, if you, to store these, so in the test, you get these responses, and you have to actually go into the response tab here and store them for every attribute. So in these sections, if I wanted to select that, set another, this attribute right here is all of the um, attributes that you have already created in Customer IO. Um, if you type a new one, it'll create a new attribute. And then the response is where you're going to replace the attribute location from the response here. So as an example, each uh, kind of subarray of these sections will be separated by a period. And so in this example, I'm storing the company, like employee count at the company. So it's company.metrics.employees. So it's a company, and then where's the metrics section? metrics, employees, okay? Uh, <clears throat> and that's it. Um, and when you activate the campaign, when people flow through, all those uh, responses will be stored and values will be stored. When you do, you can test it again. And at the bottom of the test, it'll actually tell you the values that would have been stored in Customer IO. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, good luck, and we'll see you around.